You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, GH fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your General Hospital Weekly Prediction Edition. As always, my predictions are based on official spoilers for front burner storylines, and I'll tell you how I took the spoilers and got to the prediction. And I look forward, as always, to your comments because I love whether you agree or disagree or have your own ideas. It's always a great conversation about our favorite soap opera. If you've not, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. And now let's jump right in. My first prediction is that a kiss between Esme and Spencer restores her memories. So let me tell you about the spoilers first. On Tuesday the 14th, Spencer tries to get Esme to see reason. He does not want her moving into this apartment. He's very upset that Laura agreed to co-sign the place for her. She doesn't want to be around Spencer. She feels like that her crush is going to cause problems for his relationship with Trina. It already has, but of course that's kind of his obsession with his brother playing dad to his brother that has gotten Trina to tell him to go kick rocks. So also on Tuesday, Ava has some advice for Trina, which of course has got to be about Spencer and Esme. And then on Friday the 17th, Jocelyn drops some truth bombs on Spencer. So To me, I feel like this storyline is going the way of a twisted version of Sleeping Beauty, except it's evil amnesiac beauty, (laughs) because I do not feel like she's faking her amnesia. I don't think there's any sign of it. They could always change it, you know, and do a retcon. I do feel like Esme really is indeed still an amnesiac, but I think all of us fully expect her to go dark again once she is back to being herself. And what's interesting to see is that Esme is falling for Spencer organically now. And before, when she got involved with him, it was part of the agenda. Her horrible biological dad, Ryan Chamberlain, made her get together and pursue him. But now she's falling for him for real. And if she does indeed move out and get this apartment, that means Spencer is going to be at her apartment all the time trying to spend time with Ace. And that would put them probably in a much smaller apartment than where Laura and Kevin live. It would put them in very close proximity, playing mom and dad to Ace. And it is exactly what Sprina thought. You know, there's not going to be an adult chaperone, not going to be in Granny Laura's house. And And I think that's going to get really messy. And I just kind of have this feeling that one kiss, just for a moment, that one kiss could bring everything back. We'll see. And it could bring all of Esme's memories rushing back. And I'm excited for it because I don't like them just leaving her an amnesiac. It's been going on for too long. My second prediction is that Sonny Corinthos is angry at his new wife, Nina, even before the SEC bombshell. Of course, we all saw on Friday that Ned got his memories back, but then there's some official spoilers saying he's going to sit on the secret a little while longer because Olivia asks him to. She's like, look, Sonny and Nina are happy. Drew's out of prison with Carly. So right now, all you'd be doing is upsetting people. You wouldn't be, you know, solving any problems or anything. But Ned told her he wouldn't keep quiet forever. So on Thursday, the 16th, Anna catches up with Sonny. That's the point. I feel like she's going to tell him, oh, by the way, Charlotte has been the one tormenting me. Valentine has known all this time and hasn't told me and let me stayed scared. And he's been conspiring with Nina, who deleted security footage to help out Charlotte. I think she's going to tell Sonny all that. I don't know for sure, but I feel like she is. Then on Friday, the 17th, Sonny demands some answers from Nina. And I'm sure it is like, why didn't you tell me that Charlotte was the one messing with Anna? I understand you deleting the footage because Sunny does like to get the police involved. So I, I don't feel like it's the fact that she deleted the footage because he does understand what you do for your kids, you know. And even though she's not still Charlotte's stepmom, she still sees herself as a mother figure. I think what he's going to be more upset about is that she was 
involved with this sketchy deal with Valentine and didn't come clean to her. And so then we've got the following week, Tuesday the 21st, Nina tries to get Charlotte to admit the truth to her. That same day, Anna is crushed and heartbroken. And then on Wednesday the 22nd, Anna confronts Valentine. So I definitely feel like Anna's going to tell Sonny everything she knows about the Charlotte situation. She may even assume that he already knew and just wasn't telling her, you know, or maybe she's so mad at Valentine, she just blurts it all out. So when Sunny confronts Nina, it is going to be about her keeping secrets and, you know, hanging his pal Anna out to dry. If Nina had told him right away about the Charlotte thing, it might have been okay because he does understand protecting kids, but doing things for her ex-husband and lying to Sonny by omission, that's a very big deal to him. So I feel like Nina is going to be on extremely thin ice before the SEC reveal comes along, and then that's going to be just too much for Sonny to deal with, at least for a while. I have predicted that I think he's eventually going to, going to forgive her because I don't think he's getting back together with Carly. I definitely think Carly's staying with Drew. I know a lot of people don't want it to go that way, but that's just all the groundwork that we're seeing. So we'll see how it goes. Our third and final prediction is about teen scene drama. I wonder if Trina and Dex are going to comfort each other and maybe cross lines. So on Thursday, the 16th, Dex has a warning for Jocelyn. Not sure what that's about. It could be about Adam, that school pal who's causing problems because on Monday, the 20th, Joss helps out Adam. He's clearly brought on. His character has been developed because he's going to be a problem for Joss and Dex. If you didn't know, Adam is played by Maurice Bernard's son, and he's doing a really good job. Joshua Bernard, I'm pretty sure his name is. So, you know, he... Adam has this kind of poor opinion of Dex because he's basically a thug with no education while Adam and Jocelyn are pre-med. And I think he thinks he's better than Josh for that, Joss for that reason. I mean, better than Joss's current boyfriend for that reason. And, you know, people had talked a while ago about Dex and Trina maybe hooking up. And I thought at the time, no way that wouldn't happen. But I do think about the past where Dex and Trina had some kind of big, important talks where they sort of opened up to each other. And I think with Adam likely being a problem for Joss and Dex, I think that he's going to make Dex self-conscious while Joss gets in deeper with the guy trying to help him. It's just going to be an issue. The same thing with Spencer's focus on Esme and Ace is an issue for Trina. She even, you know, basically dumped him over it last week. I, it, she basically said she's done because she was really mad because she was happy that Esme is moving out. And then he didn't like that. And it all blew up. I think it's going to blow over, and I don't think she's going to seriously dump him right now, but I think it's coming. I'm a big Sprina shipper, but we do know that General Hospital likes to mess with happy couples, so you never know. And maybe Dex and Trina are bonding over the interlopers that are messing up their relationships, and maybe they get closer. I hope not too close, but you never know where it's headed. All right, that's everything. Please drop your comments below, whether you agree, disagree, or have a whole other idea. Idea. I love reading your comments. I promise I read them all. Come back soon. I'm talking GH with you guys seven days a week. So check back soon. Click subscribe if you haven't. Definitely drop your comments. Click a like if you enjoyed this and check back for more. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.